Hello. If you're a follower of mine, you will have seen these over the last few days. I've been sowing seeds indoors in Koya, in these containers. Now these seeds have only been in a few days. They haven't germinated yet. At least I don't think they have. I haven't had a look. My advice is don't look in the first week. If the packet says 14 to 21 days, there's no point in looking every day, is there? Just go after a week. So I haven't actually had a look in here yet. Just to recap, what have we got here? We've got uh, a beetroot, red titan. We've got a parsnip, hollow crown. And we've got carrots, Danvers. Time for an update. Okay, so these seeds have been growing now for just short of two months, just short of eight weeks. I think they've been in seven weeks. And I've got to say, they're painfully slow. Let's have a look at the beetroot first. Remember the beetroot? How many beetroot did I sow? 25. How many can you see? Growing, germinating. I can count four. <laughs> I can count four. We're definitely not happy with that. Just four from 25. And I've got to say that this coir has always been kept moist. It's always been warm. And these containers have been in good light all that time. And that's all I've got. Is that telling me that perhaps these beetroot seed are past the best? Because bear in mind the packet I used was a packet that had been opened on a previous growing year, so these were seeds that they had left over. That doesn't actually give me enthusiasm to plant any more from that packet. Yeah, that's the beetroot, and we're disappointed. Okay, let's do the uh, parsnips. Uh, these are looking better. What do you think? We sold 20, and I'm actually counting 13 germinated. Uh, you can see that they've got their first true leaf. Okay. And bear in mind that these things take more than six months to maturity. Then yeah, they haven't grown much, but there's a lot more growing left in them. So I think at some stage we will be moving these on. Um, maybe later this week even. And I haven't made my mind up yet whether I'll try these in the raised bed or just try some in buckets. Uh, that's a decision I still need to make. Okay, let's have a look at the carrots. Well, this is a lot better germination. 50 sown, about 50. Um, give or take a few. And I'm counting 40 germinations. And again, this was from a packet that was already open. Um, so I think we're okay with this. I think we're okay with the germination rate of carrots, but I must say that these seedlings do look anemic. There's hardly any colour in them at all. In fact, looking at those, you would think they were a seedling 
that have been exposed to a cold environment, but they haven't. They've never been outdoors. They've always been in a warm room in this moist compost. But we should really, um, we should really be moving these on now. But I'm not going to do that in this video. I just thought I'd show you uh, the progress that we've made with these pre-germinated seedlings indoors. The tricky bit is still to come. The tricky bit is to move these on. Um, but yeah, that's for another video. Now, one last thing I want to show you on this video is some of my tomato seedlings. Wow! Look at those! Those have been in about six week, six to eight week, and they've looked like this for the last at least three week. Two seed leaves, yeah, but absolutely nothing else. The seed is all standing still. You've just had a look at the beetroot and the parsnips and the carrots all growing in coir. These are growing in coir as well. I've never sown seeds in coir before, just plain coir. I've usually had a coir mix, a coir soil mix, but I've just gone with coir and you've seen the results. And I'm wondering if I've made a mistake here. Just stepping seeds off in coir with nothing added. Have you ever used this stuff? Have you ever used coir for starting seeds? Just plain coir, nothing else. If you have, come back to me in the comments. Let me know how your seedlings got on. I'm going to give these a bit longer. Well, there's nothing else I can do really. There's nothing else I can. I'll give them a bit longer. Um, and if push comes to shove, I'll actually plant them up like that. I will give them uh, the best shot I can. But I've got to say I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed with everything I've shown you today. But anyway, can't just keep showing winners here at Home Grown Veg? Because we don't always get winners. If any of these turn out to be losers, the losers. That's the end of it. If they turn out to be winners, you'll see them harvested. You'll see carrots, parsnips, beetroot harvested. You'll see me picking tomatoes. But if they turn out to be dudes, if they turn out to be losers, I'll show you that as well. If nothing else, we have an honest channel. Um, we get some winners across the line, but we have some losers just like everybody else. Okay, and on that downbeat note, <laughs> on that on that downbeat note, this is Homegrown Bench signing out.